sitting right on the wire. Probably gonna poke a hole in it. Just take it nice and easy. Hello again. I'm just trying to get this pin moved over here because I brought my among Kamani's or however you say it, chickens over. And it's time to put them out. Got all these chickens and turkeys. They're all bundled up over there in the corner. I'm gonna get these birds out though and let them out. I've had them at the house for about, I don't know, maybe two months or so. And it's time to bring them out here. Unfortunately, it's a cool evening or a cool morning, but I think we'll be all right. We had some pretty big storms run through here last night. That's one of the reasons I didn't come up last night. So I'm here today. Now, here's my fence. I'm just gonna turn it off. There we go, it's off. I'm going to let the cows out so they can graze this over here. There is some green grass. Thankfully, it's been a fairly mild winter and I hope I'm not speaking too soon. There's some grass growing, you know, and I'll let the cattle eat on that a little bit. I'm sure they'll be happy with it. I know these chickens want to get let loose and I'll let them loose here soon enough. I just want to get this set up. So I just let that wire down while I drive over it. I'm hoping for this not to take too long. I don't know what I'm going to do when I'm done with this besides checking on them cattle. I'm expecting that one to have a calf. So I need to go kind of take a peek at that. As you know, I moved these birds around here and there. They've come all along this way here on the orchard and I need to put them over that way next. I'm gonna put this new pin over here and I'm gonna be moving their pin over as well. Instead of me putting it in that area and then moving it, I'm just gonna put it here one time. My plan is to keep these new birds in here at least till my next visit and then let them out. I want them to get accustomed to the area before I let them loose. These are pretty flighty. Uh, I'm sure they're just waiting for the opportunity to, to fly away. So I think if I leave them pinned up a little bit, it'll uh, hopefully keep them around in the area. All right, let's set this thing down. Oh, wrong way. Okay, fair enough. birds. I'll get their water here shortly as well. All right, this is how I transported them in a little box. These are some flighty little birdies though. Okay. All right. There you go birdies. Hop on out. They're all back there now, of course, hiding. But I'm sure pretty soon they'll come out. We'll be able to see them a little better. All black. Okay. Now, let me let these critters out. This is the back of their pen. It'll soon be the front. Hey, guys. It's not on because I turned the fence off. This little one's pecking on me already. Hold on. Y'all are noisy. Look at that pretty bird. All right, count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we got one, two, three, four. I don't know if you saw the shadow, but that thing just jumped on my shoulder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's see what's in here. I'm at eleven. Okay. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 
I need three more. They're probably in the nest box. Yep, there's one, two. Oh, they have a little, little more eggs just around. I need to collect them eggs every day. What's up? Hi, you mean goose. Right. So right now I'm trying to finish up these chickens, getting them set up, getting their electricity set up. Before, when I had them over here, I don't, I don't think you can see it. I'm not sure, but maybe you could see the little yellow tabs there. That's the, uh, my electric wire, and that's why Apollo is not coming over here because he's scared to death of it. Even though I took it down over there and I've been going over it and it's on the ground and the fence is turned off, he's still too scared. I just ran a jumper off that electric wire right there to the netting. And that's how I powered it while they were there. But since I moved them over here, it's a little further away from that fence and I need to bring the charger back for this section of fence, or the, the, the chicken's netting. It's, it's pretty big, I, I don't even know the uh, square footage or anything of it. I guess I could do the math, but maybe I'll put it on the screen. I don't know if I finished mentioning it earlier. Look at this thing coming after me. We're getting some, some, some more rain and colder weather, so that's why I kind of threw some of this hay over here. Also, just to cover the ground, I need to make sure that this is going to stop flowing, which I bet you it's not. As I said that, it just stopped. But since I've come this far, I'm going to adjust it because they don't need the water level that high. I would hate for it with colder weather coming up. I would hate for it to overflow. That's what happened last year when I lost 400 birds. Oh, excuse me, 40 something birds. You can't see them. I stuffed it with hay. I figured they'll have fun getting through it. Also, it's going to keep them warm because the back end of the shelter is covered. And so I threw a bunch of hay in there and they can huddle back there and they could stay warm and all that. Before I brought them over here, they were in, uh, at the corporate offices. I turned the lamp off a couple weeks ago. They, had fe they have feathers. I have the windows open in the, in the garage where I keep them, trying to get them used to the cooler weather, even though it's a little colder up here than it is down there by a couple degrees. Look at all this fertilizer. You could tell who's been in here. It's the donkey. These cows are looking pretty happy. You know, those of y'all that follow, you know about Pearl and you know about Eve. And it looks like Eve's mama is babysitting Pearl. Though that's not happening right now. It was before I had camera issues. I've seen them around together most of the time, like those two little youngsters just hang out. I just caught these guys, ladies, and the one guy, the bull. They got into the chicken pen and they started eating the feed. They knocked it over and started munching it. See, evidence right there. Looks like she's been face down in cocaine for a little while. Well, I'm not mad at them, but whatever. And these little things are just chasing me. Hey Goose, so they're all kind of locked out right now because all the cattle are right here waiting for their next opportunity to break in. I did turn the electric on. I finished getting it hooked up. He kind of has curly hair in the front. It's kind of cool. Hi Bull. He still doesn't let me pet him. I don't know why this thing keeps knocking over. I swear those chickens keep knocking it over. This is the little semi setup that I have here. I got solar, which is dirty and I need to clean it. Okay. I got some solar halfway put onto the some poles that I had extra laying around and uh, just charging the battery. And then that's going off the speed right 1000 and going right there and electrifying the fence. Maybe Eve is getting really close to that fence. I hope she doesn't get shocked. You can see the little Kermani chickens hanging out. My Rhode Island red hens are um, munching away at what the cows drop. Again, I left some of this stuff here. I figured they go through it and have fun, chill out, whatever they're gonna do. Hi, Goose. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, you turn your back on them and they come after you. They're kind of friendly. They're just saying hi. These little things, they attack me all the time. Anyway, I've got some tree work to do, so I'm gonna get to that and uh, hope to see you on the next one. So have a good one. Thanks. Bye.